But let's talk about digital ID for a second, because there is kind of a flip side to this, yeah. and get your thoughts. Uh, when, when you hear reports out of China, for example, that they're going to put everyone's ID essentially into a huge database, and it becomes a social score, and if you don't, if you say something against the government, you, your social score gets debited, and then you can't take an airplane, you can't get on a flight, okay? This is, they're using this huge database and identity-based data, and it's it, to, to, to an extent that folks would argue is, uh, a, you know, a negative, if you, let's just call it that. So, um, what are your thoughts on that, just broadly speaking? You don't need blockchain for that. It's not going to be a blockchain-based identity in the first place. So the idea of an identity, uh, a digital identity, it's going to change from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, in my opinion. And it goes back to the idea, if you have an identity, it has to be a gateway to access all these different services. So we're not just doing aid delivery, we're doing uh, donations and welfare delivery and so on. That decision of how a person should donate money or value is that person's decision. When it comes to the level of government control over a person's identity and what they may see, it's not really blockchain based. It's not blockchain based at all, let's be honest. Um, so when you're up against governments and using their own identity system, um, I think it's very, very different means for what we're trying to do. Um, right, so make a distinction there. So you're saying it's not blockchain based, and you're saying it's not blockchain at all in China uh, because it's a huge database. I mean, exactly. it's just a very, you don't need a blockchain to do it. It's not blockchain enabled. It's just a huge database that they're tracking. But they're, but. Blockchain and Bitcoin is a huge database. It's updated every 10 minutes through proof of work, and that's the magic of Bitcoin: is that it takes the block, it takes a database technology and combines it with encryption technology and proof of work technology, and you create something very, very special. But how? So you, let me just understand what you're saying here. So you're saying on a territorial basis and on a region-to-region -region basis, you can't control the politics in any country. Correct. And and uh, but aid tech, it doesn't doesn't stop aid tech from the mission of getting aid to where it's needed, uh, and that's your focus. Exactly, it's initially started off with aid, but going across borders, so driving down the fees of remittances, welfare delivery, working with organizations in the UK, and we have a consumer app where donors can actually make a donation to people across the world, but the donor has say in where the actually money goes to an beneficiary.